Dana here. I gotta head out to the Antiques Crossroads because I'm looking for a birthday present. It's gonna be a quick jaunt, but we're gonna get it done. Let's see what we can find. Needful things. All right, I'm doing a real speedy shop today, just a once through the Antiques Crossroads here in Hagerstown, Maryland. But I can't not stop here. This Cupy case right inside the door gets me every time. They're so expensive, but they're so cute. I just, you look at the price tag and oh my gosh. This is one of my favorites, the little Cupy, $8.95 on the little letter, little trinket dish. Ugh so adorable but woo mm. so looking over here in these other cases i see these kitty salt and pepper shakers those are kind of cute it looks like if i can finagle it's 25 dollars, so reasonable price on those but they have some paint loss so i don't think i'll mess with that but let's see up here this picture is really intriguing it's in a neat frame matted and this little fairy light gets my attention too. Huh, interesting little pattern on that in a crystal base. That is pretty neat. I think I can see how much that picture is. I zoom one, is that 175? Yes, that is what that says. Woo! This is amazing. They're like little jade beads all strung on copper wire to make this like weeping willow. Gosh. And it is 68 firm. That's just really neat looking. Huh. Very, very cool. Now, I'm heading back this way. This is like the main reason I was here today. In addition to birthday shopping, I wanted to see these cases. So I have met these wonderful people, Stacy and Kurt, and they have these two cases right here in front of this cash wrap area. And they have a lot of cameos and kind of this Victorian jewelry vibe. So I definitely wanted to stop and see what they had. I see a lot of really interesting things. And what this makes me think of is my upcoming project with the museum. Um, I've been pondering doing tablescapes again this year. I skipped last year because there was a lot going on. But I have this idea. And it would incorporate kind of some old Victorian jewelry. Now, I'm not going to, like, let everybody know what my idea is quite yet. I, I told Stacy, um, but I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. So, I think maybe we can have a nice little partnership where maybe she could loan me some of this fun little things. And I could promote her cases on my tablescape. So, maybe... Yes, this is exactly what I had in mind. So, oh, so cool. Is that a lipstick case? Lighters and perfume bottles. The cameos get me every time. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. So I'm going to walk around just a smidge, but I got a like birthday present and skedaddle. But whoa, 207 for this lamp? Gosh, that's gorgeous. I really like that. And we are not out of paprika. This bottle is pretty. See, now it reminds me of that fairy lamp I saw out front. Something about that design I just really like. Oh, look at this old photo. The wedding picture. Look at them. I just love old photos. This glass piece caught my attention. So pretty. Yes. Ellie Smith, $42.95. Not bad. Oh, so pretty. I love these little sets. 
very marked down, thirty-five ninety-five. Hmm. This basket is enormous. Jeez. What do I see back here? Little Humpty Dumpty lamp. Oh, a kitty bank. What? With penny eyeballs. That's kind of cool and kind of creepy. Reminds me of when they put coins on the dead person's eyes so they have, you know, fare for the river. <laughs> Whoa. That is mammoth. Is, is that real? A longhorn steer skull? It feels real. That's craziness. Look at this dude. He's a clown dentist. Mm. Well, I found some special things here. I will show you one. I'm not going to show you the birthday present, but let's interject with a little bit of my booth. All these things are heading to my booth at Weaver's Treasures. So they're going to be in there. I'm running a sale for the weekend. Oh my goodness. All these things were on my tablescapes when I did the Alice in Wonderland theme. So now we are passing them all on to you. Please check them out. Well, I ended up finding the perfect birthday present, but I'm not going to show you because this video might hit before said birthday happens. So I don't want her to see what I got her. But, excuse me, Gromit. Poor Gromit. He's having all sorts of problems. He ended up being sick, and during his sickness, he pulled out his neck and... He pulled out his neck and is on meds and now he's got to wear a donut because he's licking his feet because his little nerves are pinched. But I found this amazing paper. Oh, wait, I don't know if you can see. Let's see. There you go. It has a spider web and a spider. Boop. There he is. It's just etched on the back. It's not within the paperweight itself, but I mean, that's a good size. But anything insect, I am all about. So this was fantastic. So I ended up buying myself a present. Grommy approves, right? What do you think? We like, we like spiders. And everybody, please say good, good things for Grommy to feel better soon, right? We're going to feel good. My little donut. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha